Good morning, this is Cherie from Arcan RV and I'm doing a quick walk around here of our Montana High Country 311RD. We're starting here at the front cap with a fiberglass front cap and you can see that we have an LED strip lighting right across the top above the window there. Two down here in the lower area, your backup mirror. It's also equipped with a Road Armor fifth wheel hitch here. In your front compartments, we have a storage area up front here. And this area here is for your battery compartment. As you can see, this one is, already has a pure sign wave inverter. It's a 2000 watt inverter. So this one will have 440 watts of solar already on it. Now we're just gonna step back here. We have two slide outs on the driver's side or non-camp side of this unit. We're gonna come around here along the side. Now I'll give you a quick preview. We have your Lippert system auto leveling here. Here's one of the compartments that house your two of your 30 pound propane tanks. Your pass through from your non-camp side. We also have your convenience center here with your outdoor shower, um, being able to do your winterizing quickly here, city water connection tank flush, tank um, poles here as well. And your key TV set up as well as if you want additional solar, you have a quick connect here as well. It does have your hot water tank here. It's a six gallon or 12 gallon hot water tank. Now we're just gonna come down along the side. Dual axle, it is power electric stabilizers on this unit. Now here at the back, you have your power hookup here at the back. Coming around to the back, we do have a hitch set up back here as well with your four pin wiring. This will hold 350 pounds straight down on the tongue weight or 3,000 pounds towing on that. You have your ladder up onto the fully walkable roof here. It is prepped for a backup camera system. And here we have the slide on our camp side of the unit. Now on this slide out, we also have a small outdoor kitchen set up, a suburban griddle and a bar fridge in here. Now we're gonna come along. As you can see, we have a power awning that's on this slide out here as well with LED strip lighting, solid steps up into the unit. Again, this is the 311RD with a 440i solar package already on it. An additional power awning over here, LED lights, outdoor speakers, and the view of the pass-through from your non-camp side. We're just going to head up the steps here and into our unit. As we come in, the first things you're gonna see here as you enter the door, down on the bottom, we have our central vac system, as well as your fuse box. There's an area here for hanging jackets and keys, and the control for your mock air for your thermostat and furnace in here. Your control panel for operating your slides and your heated tanks. You've got your max air controls, as well as your inverter power button in here. There's the stairs that are gonna head up to your bathroom and your bedroom, but we're gonna start here in the kitchen. We have a nice little section here for our kitchen. It is a three burner gas stove with a nice oven. There is a storage drawer down below. Three drawers for utensils and whatnot. Your microwave and additional cabinetry above your microwave. Now on your non-camp side, we have our counter space and bar area of counter space um, with a solid surface. Lift these out, you have a large rectangular stainless steel sink, high rise faucet with the pull down for your water. Cabinetry, again, more cabinetry, more space here above the sink as well. And there is additional cabinetry space here for your spices and whatnot on the island side of things. Now we're gonna head into the main part of our unit here. We have theater style seats here, which are facing the rear entertainment unit. They are power seats in here. In your slide out that is on your non-camp side, you have your dinette table with an extension here, four chairs, lots of windows. All of them have the screens for cross ventilation in here. Now the very rear of this unit is our rear entertainment, hence the RD. You have your electric fireplace here, 
a smart television, JBL sound system, shelving above the sound system, more cabinetry above here as well, cabinetry down below. Now as we pass around here to our campsite, this is the slide out that is on the campsite. We have our um, queen size tri-fold sofa in here. Now this will fold out to a full queen size bed that will extend right to just about here where my foot is. And then we have our pantry space that is here in that slide out as well. We're just gonna open up the pantry here. You can see that we have uh, automated lighting in here. There's three shelves of pantry space. Now down below is where that outdoor kitchen is. Now in here we also have the 12 volt refrigerator and freezer combination. We're just gonna open this up quick here. One side is your refrigerator and one side is your freezer. This is a 12 volt refrigerator. So this will operate quite nicely using your solar package and battery system that is on this unit. Now we're going to now head up the stairs and we're gonna go straight into the bedroom first. You see here at the very front of the unit, we have a large window. It does have a pull down nut blackout shade in here as well. There is an electric port and USB ports for your devices for charging. You have two drawers in here for clothing. You have your wardrobe with hanging area on either side of this front cap area as well. Now in here we have a full king size bed. There is a reading table on the one side with some additional storage. There's shelves up top with power and USB ports on here for charging devices. Against the campside wall is an additional dresser with six drawers. Now we're gonna head into the pass-through that goes right from the bedroom into the bathroom. So there's two entrances into this bathroom. Now in here, you've got a beautiful uh, corner-shaped rounded shower with a seat in here, skylight, nice fixtures. You have a porcelain toilet, a medicine cabinet here, right outside the shower as well. And there's that doorway that goes back into the hallway. Now we have here an additional counter space with an inset sink, an additional three drawers, more storage down below, an additional medicine chest in here as well. Now part of that slide out that's in your bedroom area, which is your king size bed, is also this area here as additional wardrobe space, or it is already plumbed in here for a washer dryer hookup. So this is the bathroom in the 311RD. I'm just gonna head back out the main door and have a quick peek again at the main living area of this high country 311RD. I'm Cherie, thanks for watching.